Here is the Cisco 8832 conference phone. And guys, today I'm gonna to give you a review of this thing. I just got it in a couple of days and I've been playing around with it and I've been testing it and I've been doing a bunch of calls. So we're gonna go through this today. I've got all the accessories laid out in front of me that it can come with. And we're gonna go into the menus. I'm gonna show you guys how to pair the microphones and everything. And then we're gonna go into the deployment guide in a little bit too, to show you guys uh, how big of a room this thing can span and what the recommended setups are. So if you guys are new to my channel, uh, please remember to subscribe and a thumbs up at the end of the video is always appreciative as well. So like I said, I got this in a couple of days ago and I've been testing it out. And the first thing that I noticed on this when I placed my first call is how good of a sound this thing actually has. It's got a very like deep bassy sound to it. It's not like the, the tinny audio that you, you're used to with those old Starfish phones and everything. This thing sounds fantastic. And the pickup area on this, just the base unit here is in a, is a 20 by 20 area. So you can be um, 10 feet on this side, 10 feet on that, that side, 10, 10 feet in front of me, 10 feet on back. And it's this whole you know, donut shape uh, pickup range on the microphone. And the volume on this thing is actually pretty substantial. I mean, you could hear this thing easily from 20 feet away. You know, without having a problem, even though maybe a little, even further than that, if uh, if you had to be that far away. So, one thing I'll note, and I want to start off with how to order this because this is actually an, an important thing to note when you're ordering this. So, if you look at it, there's only one cable coming out of the back of this, and this is not Cat Five, not Cat Six. There is not an RJ45 port on the back of this unit. It has a USB-C connector. On the back of it. Why that's important is because you need to make sure you get the right dongle or adapter or whatever the heck you want to call this thing in the way that you're going to be using the phone. So the, the dongle that I have here is for uh, power over Ethernet RJ45 coming into it and it converts it to USB-C and sends it to the phone. If you do not have Cat5 power over Ethernet Coming into this, you need to get a different adapter. So the different ones they have is, they've got one that has no RJ45 on the back of it and just a power adapter. That's if you're gonna use the phone in Wi-Fi mode. This does have a Wi-Fi chipset in it, so you don't even need to have uh, an ethernet run out to it. And then we also have an adapter that is gonna have an RJ45 port in it, plus it's gonna have a power port adapter on the back of it there. So if you do have an ethernet run, but you don't have PoE, you're gonna get it, wanna get the one that has a power adapter in it. You've got the two cables coming into here, and then that goes out one cable, one USB-C cable to the actual phone. That's kinda nice, instead of having two cables run to the thing, you can just have one USB-C cable run to the thing. Um, I, did, I did some playing around with this thing. I was like, huh, this is, this is kinda cool. I've got PoE coming into it, and it, and it turns out on the back side of it to USB-C, I was like, you know, my MacBook charges off of USB-C. I was like, I wonder if I could charge my MacBook Pro off of power over Ethernet. And I plugged it in and sure enough, it started powering my MacBook Pro uh, over over PoE. So the first time I've ever powered anything besides Cisco devices off of PoE. Uh, pretty cool that you could do that. I was hoping that it would give me a network port too, but it but it didn't. It just provided power. So kind of cool. Definitely not the intended use case. Uh, if you're going to try it yourself, not my problem. If you break your uh, MacBook Pro, mine was okay, but I only had it plugged in for a couple seconds. So <laughs> if you want, give it a try. Let me know how it goes. So again, just remember these things are important. Make sure you guys get the correct one. So next, guys, let's talk about some of the other accessories here. Let's talk about some of the microphones. So I've got on here two wired microphones. These come in a kit. They have a seven foot cord that's attached to them. And again, they plug in to the side of the unit here. So just the regular three and a half millimeter, plug it into the side, send it out that side seven feet, send it out that side seven feet. And the nice thing about these things too is they actually have a mute button on them so you can press the mute button while you're in a call and it lights everything up red just like uh, any of our video endpoints have on there. So that's the wired mics. Probably the more popular option, the one that most of my customers always ask about is wireless microphones. 
what do you have from a wireless microphone perspective? Well, we've got these really cool um, wireless mics that look exactly like the wired mics, just no cords on the back of them. And they come with this charger that's magnetic. So you just pop them on here, kind of seats in place, and you can take them off and you can put them back on and it charges them. One of the things that I, that I wanted to test when I first got these in, I was like, okay, well, what happens if someone doesn't charge one of these things? Can I actually put it on the charger and talk through it while it's charging? And the answer to that is yes. I was successfully able to go from a dead one of these microphones, place it on the charger, and actually use it and actually talk on it. So, you know, if you're in an odd situation, you might have to move this thing to the side of the table or something so it's plugged in. This also has a USB-C connector on the back of it. You can use these microphones while they're on the charger. When they're off the charger, Cisco gives you a couple pieces of metal with some stickies on the back and you can place these on your table and then that way you kind of always know where home is for the wireless microphones and they attach to these things here. So they kind of stay stationary on the table. They don't move around too much because it's magnetic and you stick this little piece of metal onto the table and you're good to go from there. So that's the accessories that you guys can get with this thing when you're ordering it. Let's talk a little bit more about the phone and then we'll go into a close-up shot here and we'll get into the deployment guide. So I'll flip this up so you guys could hopefully see this better. Um, on the display here, this is a 3.9 inch color display. When I took the sticker off of it, I plugged it in. The first thing I said about the display, I was like, man, that's a really crisp, crisp, nice display. Uh, it, it looks really good. Uh, even though it's small, you can still see the letters and everything totally fine. And it's color, which is, which is kind of nice too. I think this is the first color conference room phone, uh, I've ever had. Then on the top here, this is a mute button and it lights up red and we'll show you guys that in a second when we go into a call. The cool thing about this is it feels like a space bar. So it feels like a space bar on a, on a Mac or a, a PC computer. So that's there. Then it has your typical number pad here, volume rocker, and then this is your uh, toggle button when you're in menus and things on the side over here. And then we've got one, two, three, four soft keys here depending on different modes and things that you're in on the phone one could be for things like redial if you wanted to i'm going to place a call here real quick and just show you guys how this stuff lights up so if i hit redial and now you can see that we're in a call i've got my end call buttons and everything right there and if i hit the space bar here or the mute button you guys can see that the thing lights up in red there if I need to change volume, this is actually kind of cool. The uh, red button there goes away for a second and it shows the volume. And there's a visual indicator as far as how loud or soft the volume is. It's just a white light that goes up and down the screen. So real simple phone to use, not meant to be complicated, um, but it's it's got a ton of functionality in here and guys, it sounds great. So let's go into some of the menus here and I'll show you guys how to pair the phones or pair the microphones. Okay guys, so I've got the phone pulled up here and I'll show you guys if you wanna get into the settings and everything. Just push the more button a little bit. You got your settings button, you push your soft button there and then you're in the settings. And there's a couple things you can do. Uh, there's preferences. This is where you set your ringtone. This is where you set your brightness. There's system information. That's where you'd go in, just take a look at maybe the IP address of the phone has, status of the phone, your, your admin settings. If there's any other applications you guys are running on this, that'd be located there. Uh, the admin settings is basically where everything is. There's where you're going for your network setup. Any security setups you're using, like 802.1x authentication, you need to set that up, you'd set that there. Reset settings, default the phone, the defaults, change your service mode, things like that are going to be under the reset settings button. Microphones, and then that's where we're going to go in here, and we're going to show you guys how to actually pair these today. So you've got the wireless microphones, and you've got the wired microphones. I'll go in real quick to the wired, just to show you guys that it actually does tell you the status 
of them. So we've got the disconnected status on both right now because they're both disconnected. If I go to the wireless one, again, shows you the same thing there, unpaired. Uh, if you want to pair, you just hit the pair button and then you hold the mute button on the wireless microphone for three seconds and then it comes back and it pairs. I'm just going to cancel out of that for now. One of the cool things that I saw in here is this range. I was like, what is this for the range of the wireless mics? I don't know why you'd want to be able to set this. I mean, maybe for some sort of interference. I mean, these are deck um, wireless to this unit here, so it shouldn't really interfere with, with Wi-Fi. But for whatever reason, Cisco included uh, the ability to set the range on your microphone here. I tested this out a little bit. I didn't have the best conditions I found from going from low to medium to high, the three that you can select, it it gave me an extra like five, 10 feet from going from low to medium to high, maybe high from low. I got extra like, I don't know, 15, 20 feet, something like that. But again, you know, not sure why you'd really want that, but Cisco put it in there just in case you guys wanted to adjust that for you. And that's kind of it on the phone. Real simple, guys. Nothing too complex on here. And with that, why don't we go in and I'll show you guys the deployment guide and I'll show you some different scenarios as far as what the range is for this thing, how to set it up. And there's also a daisy chain option that's actually kind of cool. So I just pulled up the deployment guide. Just going to show you guys what it looks like. A couple pictures in here going over how to set this, this system up. If I have just have the base station, there's a big circle here showing you the 20-foot the radius around the room as far as what you'd be able to uh, talk and the microphones will pick you up. So again, out of the gate, you can go 20 feet in either direction. If I add on the wired microphones, those extend out 7 feet in this direction, 7 feet out in this direction, and then you can be a maximum of 10 feet away from... Uh, any microphone and you should still be able to uh, be heard by the opposite side. So in a situation like this with the two wired microphones connected, you'd be able to span about a 34 foot room uh, with that type of setup. Next, if we move down to a room here with the microphone, with the wireless microphone kit, the recommended distance from the base station here is to place those wireless microphones no more than 10 feet away. So if I have the one microphone 10 feet away on this side, one microphone 10 feet away on that side, then again, you've got a little bit better coverage or more coverage than the wired microphones because those only go seven feet. This, you'll be able to do a room of about 40 feet long by again, that 20 foot uh, wide area there. Now, there is a note in here, too, where these wireless mics, obviously, they can be picked up 50 feet away if you wanted to. The problem is, you might, it might be pretty hard to hear on this base station if you're 50 feet, 75 feet away. So these wireless mics will work farther out. It just depends on how good your hearing is, if you're going to be able to hear the other people talking, or maybe you don't need to hear what those people are talking and you need to be further away. You can definitely pick up the wireless microphone. You can, you can go farther out than the than the ten. Uh, in some of those scenarios, that's where we actually have something called daisy chaining. So I've got these larger rooms, and it's great that I could extend these microphones out super far. But you know, my ears aren't that great anymore. I need a, I need a little bit of a louder uh, unit in front here, and I want to put a base station at one side of the table, another base station at the other side of the table with no microphones, two base stations, I can fill up a room 30, 36 feet long and give you guys you know, great audio quality coming out of two base stations here. Now the important thing to note about when I start daisy chaining them together, you will need a special dongle for this. This does require power no matter if you have PoE or not. We can't power two base stations off of the PoE coming out of your switches. So you'll have the PoE coming in, uh, you'll have your network coming in from there, and then you'll have your power coming in, and then this splits it off to two USB-C cables there, one for each end of the table. That's how you daisy chain this phone together. Then if I go down, we've got a couple different options here for things like wired mics again. So I can put this in here, I could attach 
my wired mics to it. You can only have a maximum of two wired mics on here. One's gonna plug into the side of the phone via that three and a half millimeter jack. The other mic is gonna plug into the other phone with a three and a half millimeter jack. So it is not uh, supported to plug two microphones into one station and two microphones into this other station. You can't do four, you can only do uh, two. One here and one here. You do the same thing again with wireless microphones. I could extend those out even further. And this is about the maximum you're gonna get from a system like this. With two base stations, two wireless mics, you should be able to get about 57 feet. That's a long room, 57 by 20 feet. This is a huge boardroom type situation. Uh, but that's the max recommended by Cisco where everybody can be heard and hopefully you can hear uh, the unit here on the table there too. So guys, that's kind of what I wanted to go over today. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please leave a note in the comments section and looking forward to giving you guys updates on the next product I get. Uh, thanks a lot for watching.